The problem with using environment variables in a React or Next.js project is that they can always be undefined and the compiler doesn't know if the value is defined or not. So we get these errors here because this environment variable could be undefined if we forget to set it. One way to fix this is to use the non-null assertion operator, an exclamation mark which tells the compiler relax, we know that this value is defined, just trust me bro. But the problem is, we don't have any protection. If we forget to set the value, then our app will misbehave because this value will be undefined. A better option would be to add an if check before we access this variable, check if it has a value, but of course it can be very tedious to do this in many different places. The better option is to use a library like t3env, which works really well together with Next.js. To use this library, we create a file where we call this createenv function. In here, we can pass a validation for each environment variable. Here, I'm using sorts to verify that each env variable is a string with a length of at least one character. Now, we can access our environment variables directly over this new env file, but now they are guaranteed to have a value because we verified them. To use the library, go to env.t3.gg and make sure to check out the documentation for the instructions on how to use this.